Hello and welcome everyone. After a blockbuster clash against Pakistan, another one on hands for India between two of the format's giants. India taking on West Indies in their second World T20 match in half an hour from now. Will the Indian spinners be able to control the gale storm? To discuss India's chances in this crucial tie, I have with me Saurav Ganguly, former India captain, live with us from Dhaka. Former India captain Ajit Jadeja in the studio and our consulting editor Borea Majumdar joins us from Kolkata. So after a morale boosting win against Pakistan, India looking to continue their momentum against West Indies, a match that is likely to be tougher than the first one. With the kind of firepower the Windies have in their ranks, the job of the Indian spinners, both the controlling and the wicket taking part becomes extremely crucial. Can India soak in the pressure? What a match we have on our hands. Saurav, Ajay and Borya with us. Saurav, coming to you first, looking at India's performance in the first match, you think they have an edge against West Indies? No, yes, India has an edge. I've said every time Indian bowling looks good to take wickets, India will be a good side. And in the last game against Pakistan, the bowlers bowled very well. And if they, if they bowl well today again, they'll have an edge, not only just over West Indies, but any other side in the tournament. Right, Ajay, uh, you heard uh, MS Dhoni there after the last match. He said Amit Mishra bowled at his 70-80%. He's expecting him to do even better in this match. Oh, you've got to, you know, you know, because he's the man who's leading him. So he yeah. probably understands the best. And I do agree, uh, Amit Mishra is a you know, far better bowler than what we saw that day. He's got more potential. But today could be a different day. I mean, uh, you know, that conversation from, with Mr. Dhoni was on that day that mm. you played against Pakistan. The pitch that you played on was totally different because I've just watched a little bit of the game against Pakistan and uh, Australia. Uh, on this pitch, I you know, am not 100% sure that whether Dhoni will play him or not because, you know, uh, he's, he did exceptionally well. He's the man of the match. But knowing Dhoni and the old Dhoni that I know, mm. uh, you know, makes calls looking at, you know, what is required on that day and not just go by what happened in the past. So, you know, he's got potential, uh, you know, a straight answer to that question is that, that he's definitely got more potential. Yes, sir, Borea, Indian spinners will be the key once again. Uh, many of our viewers have been asking us questions whether Dhoni should uh, start the bowling maybe with Mishra. No, absolutely not. I mean, you have to go with Ravichandra Nashwin against Chris Gale because, yeah. you know, if he's your best bet. I mean, an off spinner with so much of variation against Chris Gale. Uh, while I, I, you know, Amit Mishra has potential, but today, if you want me to say, sort of single out somebody as perhaps your best bet against the West Indian opener who's a left hander, it yeah. has to be Ravichandra Nashwin. Yes. Ravichandra Nashwin has a good record against Gale hmm. and he can actually do the job for you at the top of the order. We're going to come to that. His record against uh, Chris Gale uh, in the IPL uh, he has got him out uh, three times uh, and hasn't allowed him to score very many runs against him so that's the record that we are talking about Ashwin versus Gale they're going to be crucial I will take that question about the opening bowling once again in a different way but the other apart from Chris Gale whom we're going to talk about in detail everyone knows he's dangerous which other West Indies player or players do you think India should be worried about I think there are quite a few players. Dwayne Smith has been a very good T20 player for West Indies. He's been very consistent. He did very well for the Mumbai Indians in the T20 format. And he's a regular member. He's a much improved player than what he used to be, Dwayne Smith, in the past. So from that point of view, he will be a key player. Dwayne Bravo, uh, Sunil Narin. Uh, so these are very, very dangerous players in T20 format. But the key for West Indies today will be to bat well. Uh, they will have to put runs up on the board. They'll have to handle the Indian spinners who are in very, very good form. So life's not going to be easy for the West Indian batsmen as well. Yes, let's also listen into the West Indies captain Darren Sammy about the match winners in their side. Uh, we're going to play that bite to you, for you very, very quickly. Darren Sammy spoke about the fact that, you know, it's not just about Chris, Chris Gale. They have a lot of match winners in their ranks. Listen in. The good thing we, in our team, we don't really rely on any one person. Um, we have at least four, five, six potential match winners in, in our team. Yes, it's important that, um, you know, spin will be a big part in this tournament and... Yes, Ajay, your take on that? Uh, four, five, five, six potential match winners in the West Indies side. 
No, you got to accept that. And I think skill-wise, I mean, you know, this is a totally different game from Pakistan. Yeah. Uh, there you were superior in skill, there was no doubt. So all you had to do was, you know, had to have a better temperament than Pakistan on that day. Uh, today is a different game. I think, uh, you know, West Indies is probably a better skilled team uh, in this format. Especially in this uh, format. Only in this format. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere else because, you know, you look at their bowling. I mean, we, we our best that we just heard from uh, all of us or everybody believes the best that we have is Ravi Chandran Ashwin. You pitch him against, say, uh, uh, our, you know, Sunil Narayan. So, you know, who, who wins there? Sunil Narayan in this format any day. You pitch uh, Gale versus Dhoni. I think Dhoni wins there. But the problem with Dhoni is that Dhoni is going to come at six. So, yeah. when he comes in, you know, the game will already be set. So, there again, you know, there's an advantage. So, skill-wise, I'm, I'm with uh, Sami uh, today that they definitely got better skills than uh, India uh, in this format of the game. On the pitch that we're going to play on. Had it been the pitch that we played against Pakistan, hmm. where the ball was gripping and turning, India would have been a far superior team. Yes, so certainly because of those reasons, uh, India facing that unenviable task of taking on Chris Gale in the format, the Jamaican absolutely loves. When the Yes, you need a game plan against Chris Gale. Saurav, it's not just about having one game plan. You have to be prepared about your plan A, B, C as well against Chris Gale. Your thoughts on India's plan against Gale? Well, I, I, I get a feeling that uh, they will make Ravi Chandra Ashwin bowl with the new ball. And they will go in with three spinners. So Chris Gale will have to play the spinners up front and then Bhuvaneshwar Kumar from the other end. All right, uh, Ajay, uh, what could be B and C, plan B and C, if let's say Ashwin's uh, plan in, with the new ball doesn't work? Uh, plan A would be what just Dada said, but mm. uh, having looked at the pitch today and the, having the advantage of you know seeing that match on TV today, I think we, we, it probably would change. Even the plan A would change for me. Bhuvneshwar Kumar also probably has a very good record against Chris Gale. And when you look at a whole game, you don't look at just one man. Hmm. Imagine, because he only got two overs with Ravi Chandra Ashwin. What if he get past him? Hmm. You know, if he you know, defends him for a couple of overs and doesn't get out. Then what happens to Mishra and Bhuvneshwar Kumar and Shami? So I have a feeling that you probably will see a Seamer bowling the first over. And maybe, depending on what happens in that over, uh, you know, Dhoni will make a call. Borea, your thoughts on this? You know, I've seen that innings that you were talking about, that 98, we dropped Chris Gale. If I remember, Zaheer dropped him. First things first, you don't drop Chris Gale. Yeah. I think Ravi Chandran Ashwin does have a better chance against Chris Gale at the top of the order. But uh, uh, one more point. I mean, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, by getting the ball in, perhaps also has a decent chance. The fact of the matter is you've got to get him early. No one has spoken about Marlon Samuels. You know, Saurav didn't mention him in the list of match winners. If Marlon Samuels wasn't there in that West Indies side in 2012, he hammered the hell out of Lasit Malinga in that final. He too is an equally destructive player if he gets going. So the fact that Darren Sammy was making five, six match winners, it's not about Gale only. Gale is just at the start. This West Indies team has better skills in the T20 format. And it's evident why. Because of the socio-political reasons, they've got no money in this format. Gale is just the tip of the iceberg. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, let's uh, slip into a short break. We'll come back with details of the toss. It hasn't happened yet. But also, let's update our viewers about the other match today. Pakistan beat Australia by 16 runs in a match that went right down to the wire. Put into bat, Umar Akmal's 94 propelled Pakistan to 191 for 5 in the 20 overs. More importantly, it was Umar's partnership with brother Kamran as the duo put on 96 for the third wicket in response. Glenn Maxwell then produced a breathtaking performance together with Finch, smashing 74 of 33 balls. But his efforts went in vain as Australia could only manage uh, 175. It was the spinners who restricted the kangaroos. Shahid Afridi, Zulfikar Baba taking two wickets. Umar Gul also got two scalps. Exceptional death bowling we've seen now in two matches uh, today and yesterday. Sri Lanka yesterday and today Pakistan. Let's hope India can also rise to that occasion of death bowling. We're going to slip in to a short break, uh, leaving you with Umar Akmal's quick fire 94. He's our hitman of the day. India have also gone in with the same team. Uh, let's uh, uh, take some Twitter reactions. We are getting questions for our experts. Remember, we've been asking our viewers to get involved. Uh, there's one question coming in for Saurav Ganguly. Spinners to open bowling from both ends. We've discussed the bowling new ball options but Dada, just take that. Uh, your thoughts on that? No, I don't think from both the ends. From one end and Bhuvaneshwar Kumar will be from the other end uh, to bowl with the new ball because he takes it away from Chris Gale. But <clears throat> India will go in with three spinners and 
since they will go in with three spinners they will have to make one bowler bowl with the new ball and in that case ashwin ashwin is the is the guy to bowl with the new ball he's got the experience in t20 to bowl with the new ball in the ipl and he's got chris gail out a few times with the ball going away from the left hander yes india have gone in with the same uh uh team uh, uh, also dew will be a factor in today's match but india are bowling first so they've kind of negated that as well uh, but ajay putting west indies to bat uh, first uh, what is the kind of target india would be eyeing oh i mean looking at the previous game pakistan got 188 on that pitch and uh, australia should have definitely got that because they were at 117 for two or at 10 overs uh you know it was for them to lose from there and that that's the only reason why i say today was you know batting day according to me because when you have a pitch and you know it's easy to bat and you will definitely score even if you play badly Shot, right? 150 160 if you play well you can you know you know play the opposition out of the game and when you bat second if the opposition's already got say 180 which looks or 170 Uh, which looks the average total on uh, the pitch today even if you get to a you know great start 80 for no loss you still got another 80 to go in the last 10 overs so why would you want to take that uh, you know headache except the dew that mahendra singh dhoni talked about and if he who's the captain and is in the middle of the pitch and has looked at the pitch and feels that you know it's a speculation that i've taken a chance hmm. so you know i take a chance i i felt that we should have batted first All right. Uh, uh, West Indies, on the other hand, have left out Ravi Drampol, which uh, would be considered surprising by some. Cottrell, Fletcher, Charles are in there playing eleven. Borea, I want to talk about Yuvraj Singh once again. Some of the questions we're getting are also pertaining to him. There will be pressure on him in a match like this to perform. There will be. You know, our last match he did not. Uh, but and he comes in at a crucial number four position uh, ajay was absolutely right about australia that it was their match to lose after 117 so you know and that's where the middle order comes into effect right and the middle order failed australia today so there yuvraj singh will be a key factor especially when india is batting second so but i think you know his his record in the in the world cups in the world cups have been absolutely fascinating so hopefully for india he will come good today no question he will be under pressure but one expects him to deliver Yes so, so Ajay after all the discussion after seeing the toss the pitch and everything uh, your call for today's match you've been on some other show i think <laughs> no i like i said i i feel you know west indies is a better side today yeah. they've got better skills on the pitch that we are playing uh, i just know, the heart will always say india i mean you just don't have to go far look at this yeah. there's west indies that have been bandhod but the heart will always say india okay i just wanted to confirm but, that but you know, west indies is a better side and i mean if i had to take a call it's almost like flipping a coin yeah. sitting here if somebody can tell you who's going to win uh, he's a genius i'm not one uh, no uh, nobody is expecting you to predict the result and of course t20 is the kind of format where really there's very little that you can predict uh, even after you look at all the conditions and the teams uh, on both sides uh, borea majumdar ajay jadeja saurav ganguly thanks a lot for joining yes, us saurav borea and nikhil with me with us uh, post match as well we hope to see ajay in our show as well join us back after the day's end goodbye